Yeah, I ain't tryna wait. I can't be fucked with no. Oh, you can't touch this. Hey, bitch, I do rich shit, huh? My money thick, hey, hey. Walk with a limp, limp, huh? I'm on some pimp shit, hey. He say you all about money, yeah. I'm on that cash shit. Hey y'all, it's me, Slay by Jordan, and in today's video, we'll be working with Wiggins hair. They sent me over a 13 by 6 lace frontal in 20 inches. As you can see, this frontal is bigger than the normal frontal. It gives you more parting space and it is thicker. The hairline comes pre-plucked and I didn't pluck any hairs out for this video. It comes truly pre-plucked. They also sent me over two bundles of 32 inch. They are long as hell. <laughs> and they are thick and full all the way from the top to the bottom. They also sent me one bundle of 30 inch and also one bundle of 28 inch. But for this video, I was only able to fit three bundles in. So the 28 inch bundle, I didn't get a chance to use it. So this hair comes really thick. And also being that their frontal is really big, you don't need as many bundles. This hair was truly, truly soft. And it felt like some very quality hair. Y'all know I keep it real with y'all. And this hair was just bomb as fuck. So now to that frontal, this is after I bleached the knots. Um, if you want to see a more detailed tutorial on how I customize my laces, you can um, go back and watch my detailed customization video. But as I said in previous moments, I did not pluck this frontal whatsoever. It came truly pre-plucked. So now after bleaching the knots, I am going to blow dry the front of the frontal and I'm going to hot comb it back. Um, I like to hot comb all my laces before applying them because I just feel like it gives a more melted look. I don't know why, but I just feel like it makes a difference. So, yeah. And off camera, we went ahead and applied her ball cap using freeze spray because she has sensitive skin. So I don't like to use too many like gels and stuff on her hair. So we just use strictly freeze spray. And I also went ahead and added a net. This is just so I can fit as much hair in um, as I need to. Um, where there is not a braid, I can sew on the net. And it also makes your foundation stronger and flatter. So I do recommend nets, but they aren't necessary. Now I'm going ahead and apply the makeup on her cap and then we're going to cut off the excess cap and then we're going to clean her hairline with um, Steve Breeze because once again if you've been watching my channel my cousin is allergic to alcohol especially very um, um, highly percentage alcohol yes it breaks her skin out so we use Steve Breeze which is the antiseptic and it cleans the skin as well. And we're going to also protect the skin using our Boho Skin Protect. And then we're going to proceed to put that same makeup on the frontal and free spread and blow dry. And then we're going to prepare to start installing our wonderful hair. We just wanna make you go psycho. Got a hundred thousand dollars in the Bible. I took the game on my eyes. Last person was born in a horse show. I contacted on my torso. Being more independent in a horse show. I 
So now we're about to position the frontal on the client's head. You want to make sure that the hairline on the frontal is in front of the ball cap in all areas across the hairline. Now once we have it positioned, we're going to um, just adjust it to make sure, like I said, that all hairs are in front of the ball cap. You don't want any hairs behind the ball cap. Then we're going to turn our client around and then we're going to look at the back. And then we're gonna um, we're gonna make her release one hand at a time, and we're gonna go across the back, and we're going to um, stretch the back out sideways flat. Um, I know explaining this it sounds crazy as hell, but just look at what I'm doing. We're gonna stretch it. Look what we're doing. We're stretching it and making sure it's flat across the back. And then we're gonna look at the front to make sure it's in front of the ball cap. And then we're gonna get her to hold it into place. And then we're gonna make her release her other hand. Let go across the back again, stretch it out, make sure it is flat across. And then make sure the front is in front of the ball cap. And then we're gonna make her put her hand right there. And then we're gonna to proceed to sew from middle to one side. Then we're done. Then we're gonna sew um, not middle and side, then we're done. We're gonna go from middle to side. Then after that, we're gonna go back to the middle and go to the other side. So you wanna start in the middle and then sew one side down. Then you're gonna start in the middle again and sew the other side down. That way you can ensure that your frontal is flat. It doesn't have any bumps, any rolls, any humps in it. And you can wear your frontal in all the styles that you can and are supposed to wear with the frontal. Um, I really hope you guys understand what I'm saying. If not, please go check out my detailed frontal sewing video that I did about a month ago or however long ago it was. Um, yeah. And now I'm about to show y'all how this frontal is like scalped all the way through. As you can see with the 13 by 6 lace, you get longer parts. We love that. You just get a more natural look. Um, I honestly prefer 13 by 6 laces over 13 by 4 just because it's you just get longer parts, which I love longer parts. And you get more styling options. But if you have a very small head, I don't recommend this because you're badly going to be able to fit bumps in your head. So yeah, this is for my normal to big head size girls. For my small head girls, I would recommend you just get a regular 13 by 4 lace. 
So now what I'm doing is cutting out her ear tabs and I'm gonna do this on both sides. And then we're gonna proceed to um, apply her first layer of Boho Active. Um, I didn't show the glue on camera because my camera would not focus on that glue today. It must know that I'm running low and I need to get a new bottle. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna apply that on the cap and then spread it down towards the edge of the cap just to melt the cap further. And um, also put it exactly where we want it to be. And we're gonna smooth that out using our popsicle stick. And while our layers are drying, we're gonna proceed to start sewing in our hair. And yeah, we'll continue sewing while each layer is drying. Um, our first track, we will sew um, under the braid. And we'll just keep going back and forth, back and forth. I do not cut my tracks until I get to the top where I'm about to end. But you do not need to cut all your tracks because the more you cut your tracks, the more um, you can call shedding. And um, you definitely want to be able to reuse your hair. So don't be cutting your tracks up, y'all.
And after we sewed in that first 32 inch bundle off camera, I went ahead and added another layer of glue. And then after that dry, we proceeded to lay that lace down. You wanna get your client to help you hold it down in place while you blow dry on cool, on high speed, just to go ahead and melt that lace in. Um, I've noticed through just working with phones over time, using, um, using high heat actually works against you. Using the high heat will actually warm up the glue and it won't be drying. It'll actually be like, um, literally like melting. <laughs> like literally melting. And you don't want that. You want to make sure that glue is drying. So definitely use cool air. Um, definitely use cool air when you're trying to get your lace to stick. And now we're gonna go ahead and cut off that excess lace using our eyebrow razor. And after we cut off that excess lace, we're gonna take our free spray and spray it against the entire hairline. And then we're gonna tie it down using our elastic band. This will just give you a more melted look. And after we tie it down using that elastic band, we're gonna to proceed to sew in the rest of our bundles. And as I steady it, oh. <laughs> I am not editing that out. I am so sick of redoing voiceovers. As I stated in previous moments, I only was able to fit three bundles in the bag. Um, so yeah, I only fit in the two 32 inch bundles and the one 30 inch bundle. So yeah. Thank you. 
And afterwards, this is the look that we have so far. Um, as you can see, I sewed those bundles in flat. You want to make sure you sew close together and make sure you sew neat. And once you get to that last track around the frontal, don't sew the um, track and the frontals together. Just slow. Slow. Wow. I really can't talk tonight. I'm sorry, y'all. Just sew it as close to the frontal as you can because sometimes when you sew the bundles with the frontal on that last track you can create bubbles in your frontal especially if you sew real real tight so just sew it as closely as you can so now i took my wax stick and my um hot comb and i sectioned off a piece of the back of the frontal and we're just going to use this to conceal the tracks in the back And now we're about to take that elastic band off and prepare for our baby hairs. We're going to section off a thin roll across the entire hairline and we're going to cut them to about one inch using our eyebrow razor. And then we're just going to start swooping them into place using our Nairobi um, wrap foam mousse, whatever it's called. I still don't know the name. <laughs> but we're going to use our Nairobi. And um, today my cousin told me she wanted extra baby hair. So yeah, we did exactly that. Uh, baby hairs are optional, but baby, we love them. So we're going to get them, period. Like this, we 
So now we're going to take our mega wrap strips paper and we're going to apply it to the head before she goes up on the dryer. This first one we're just going to apply it normal but the second one we're going to fold it in half and then on tie around. That way that it can make sure everything is in place and that everything is melted once it's fully dry. She will go up under the dryer for about 20 minutes on high under the hooded dryer and then when she comes back we're going to cut those papers off and comb out those baby hairs for a more natural look. And now we're about to proceed to do our ponytail. Um, I always leave like a little section out to um, flow with the hair in the back. Um, I don't pull all of the hair up into the frontal. Like I take a little section like by the ears and I just let that flow with the hair in the back. Because I feel like when you pull up all the hair tightly into a ponytail, it can cause your frontal to start lifting earlier than when it's supposed to just because of the tension. So I try to minimize that. So we're just gonna take our um, rubber bands. Well, we're just gonna use our rubber bands for the ponytail. But we're gonna take our wax stick and our hot comb and we're just gonna hot comb the hair up into place. And then once we get it um, slick and whatnot, we're gonna take our freeze spray and start combing the hair into place. And then we're gonna place it into a ponytail. I mean, y'all, a ponytail is pretty simple. It's pretty much self-explanatory. But if you have any further questions, leave me a comment below and I'll try to get back with you. Oh, 
Momo. Just trying to make the whole crowd go. We don't know no one like you. No girls that can dance like Michael. No eyes, no fists, no titles. Look. We just wanna make you go psycho. Put a hundred thousand dollars in the Bible. I took the game with my eyes closed. Last verse of the morning, I'm on short. Eye contact it on my torso. Be a boy different than a torso. I ain't even taking on torso. Pushing this fire, I'm torso. Young kid dying on the floor, so keep up my heart to the core, so I guess we all gotta go. I'm just an icon living. Don't know if we can live on this rich shit, did it? Get a few more five minutes. And now that we have our ponytail in place, we're going to proceed to just press the hair up bone straight um, really quickly. Um, the hair pretty much came already straight. I'm just making sure that it is like bone straight. So I'm just taking, um, I'm just taking like medium size sections and just, you know, straighten the hair. I'm not doing my normal like full like thin section press because it's not even necessary because the hair comes pretty much straight. I'm just um, basically like giving the hair like a little quick run through with the flat iron. And my flat iron I'm using is um, Conair Pro um, Tourmaline Ceramic 2, 2 inch flat iron. I got it from Sally's. And um, yeah, we just make sure we press the hair out bone straight. And y'all, this hair is super thick for it to be three bundles and for it to be 32 inches. Like, Wiggins hair was not playing with the quality of his hair, y'all. Y'all should definitely shop Wiggins hair. And now let me just show y'all real quick how bomb this hair is. When I tell you, you get what you pay for, you get what you pay for, honey. You see how she look back? She know that hair laid. Period. So now what we're about to do is to proceed to do our bun. Um, I don't know what y'all call this. Ice cream cone bun, ninja bun, whatever. You just twist it and wrap it around. And um, once we get done doing that, we're going to bop the pin in place to make sure it's secure. And then we're going to spray it with our freeze spray. And then we're going to take our chopsticks because y'all, I was like, you know, I mean the chopstick style, it's already, you know, that season pretty much over with. It, um, that was already a phase, but I was like, I never did it, so I was like, why not do it today? And then I was like, where do I get chopsticks from? Because I'm like, the hair store probably doesn't sell it, which they don't. And then I was like, dude, go to the Chinese food place. So yep, yeah, I went right next door to our Chinese food place and I was like, hey, Li Li, can I get some chopsticks? period so that's what I did and um you just gonna stick those through now the chopsticks they're kind of thick so you have to like kind of like force it through the bun but yeah we got them in there honey and I was definitely feeling this hairstyle I don't know what song it is by Nicki Minaj that um whatever she say um about the little chopstick y'all know the little um, song I'm talking about but yeah it just came in my head as soon as I put them chopsticks in her bun and I was like, yeah, this is lit. And I'm gonna take my Beyond the Zone turn up the heat spray to give the hair a beautiful gloss. I just feel like my hairstyles are not complete until I spray that spray on the hair. It smells so good and it gives the hair such a beautiful gloss. Once again, this is Wiggins hair. This is the 13 by six, 20 inch lace frontal with two bundles of 32 inch and one bundle of 30 inch. 
I went ahead and did this frontal sewing with this cute chopstick bun style. And I thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And goodbye.